Anatomy of the Adductor Magnus Muscle The Adductor Magnus is a very thick triangular muscle. Here is the Adductor Magnus and the Adductor Hiatus. We'll talk about the origin, the insertion, the function, and the nerve supply. Each section will have two components. Origin, two parts, the pubic part and the ischial part. The pubic part arises from the inferior pubic ramus. The ischial part arises from the ischial ramus and the inferior lateral part of the ischial tuberosity. The ischial muscle part is the largest and the thickest. The ischial part is close to the hamstring muscles and it acts like the hamstrings. The insertion two parts. The pubic part insert into the gluteal tuberosity, the linea aspera, and the supracondylar ridge. The linea aspera is a ridge of roughened surface on the posterior surface of the femur. Insertion of the ischial part. The ischial part is a thick part, descends vertically, and inserts into the adductor tubercle. The ischial part goes from the ischial tuberosity to the tubercle. Nerve supply, two parts. The adductor magnus muscle is located within the medial compartment of the thigh. The adductor magnus muscle is innervated by the obturator nerve and by the tibial part of the sciatic nerve. The pubic part is the adductor part supplied by the posterior division of the obturator nerve. The hamstring part of the ischial part is supplied by the tibial nerve. From proximal to distal, the muscle is supplied by the obturator artery, the deep femoral artery, and its perforating branches, and from small muscular branches arising directly from the femoral artery. Function, two parts. The pubic part is a true adductor of the thigh. The ischial part extends the hip. Test for obturator nerve, adductor muscle assessment. While in a sitting position, the examiner has the patient squeeze the thighs with resistance placed at the inside of the knees. Weak thigh adduction indicates obturator nerve injury. Important surgical consideration. It is advised not to use a compression hip screw in the intertrochanteric reverse oblique fracture of the hip. Medial displacement of the distal fragment may occur due to the pull from the adductor muscles. Strong pull and displacement of the distal femur fracture fragment by the adductor muscle occurs in subtrochanteric fractures. Adductor myodesis. Adductor myodesis is the critical part of the transfemoral amputation. If it is not performed, the abductor and hip flexors can cause the femur to abduct, leading to severe problems with gait. Adductor myodesis improves the clinical outcome, provides soft tissue envelope that helps in prosthetic fitting. It improves position of the femur. It allows more efficient ambulation. The adductor magnus muscle is four times larger than the longus and brevis. Above knee amputation could result in 70% loss of adduction moment. For maximum prosthetic control after distal transfemoral amputation, Myodesis should be done and the residual limb maintained in a slight abduction. That's usually a test question. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.